Let's talk about each of these areas in depth. Consulting includes massage, nutritional consulting, herbal consulting, or anything, as I said, that involves a fee. You start a practice. You let people know that you're in practice. You make up a business card, a simple brochure. You call up your friends and family and let them know what you're doing. Then you publish a newsletter. You socialize, you meet people, you connect, and you publish a free newsletter which you send to people to let them know about your work. One of the things that you can do in this process is professional speaking. Now you may not get paid for your speeches, but if you're comfortable in front of an audience, it's a wonderful way to build a private practice. I know people, for instance, who give as many professional speeches as they can per year, and what they do is they build their practice up, and they have something called back of room sales, where they sell product in the back of the room at the end of their speech. And there are people who can sell as much as 30% of the population that comes to one of their speeches of various products, including videotapes, audio tapes, pamphlets, and books. They can prepare their own materials or use someone else's. All that feeding in a funnel-like fashion to the work that they're doing on an hourly consulting fee. And this can include massage, acupressure, emotional healing, nutrition, or any of those areas. Now, professional speaking, as I had mentioned, is one of the most lucrative forms of producing income in natural healing. One of the good ways to start, if you like to speak in front of the public, but aren't all that comfortable with the techniques, is to join Toastmasters International. And they're an organization of people who are really learning how to speak. A wonderful support system, great technique that you can learn there, and it's very, very inexpensive. And you can get their phone number simply by calling Toastmasters International uh, through information and also their list in the phone book. That's Toastmasters International. There's a professional association called the National Speakers Association, and that is an organization of non-celebrity speakers who make a fairly good living doing keynote speeches, that speeches in front of large groups. Also, they do trainings, they do some consulting, and there is a lot of knowledge to be gained there through product development. Uh, you can find them on the web by just typing in National Speakers Association through your search engine, and also they have chapters all over the United States. Within the area of any particular teaching, speaking, or consulting, there are professional associations. If you're a Reiki practitioner, color therapy, polarity therapy, or massage, there are professional organizations. And it's important to join these professional organizations. They help expand your knowledge once you finish your educational programs, and they also are a great source for networking and also for giving you a lot of recognition as your skills develop. And over the years, you become, I guess, what they call an old-timer. So consulting and speaking are very closely tied in terms of how they can serve each other. Teaching is a wonderful way to make a living. You can begin a school, and it's a very simple way of doing that. You simply design classes and set a fee schedule. The longer the number of classes are that a student purchases, you can give them a discount, and you can also give them a certificate in a particular area that you specialize in. Uh, in the particular school that I work with, we teach people both a lot of techniques and a lot of business skills. And this tape actually comes out of that process. In terms of developing a school, you can specialize in one particular area, or you can actually set up a system where you use a lot of different teachers to teach programs and also develop a system where you give people commissions for coming in and bringing students to your school with them. This helps them reduce the cost of the training and helps produce uh, income for them. One of the things that you can do is get sponsored. If you're a networking person, if you call people up who are interested in the kind of technique you work with or in your work personally or in you personally as a teacher, you can have them sponsor you where you charge a certain fee for a weekend or a series of weekends and people organize the workshop for you and do a split of 70%, 30%, or 60, 40, or 50, 50, whatever that works for you. And of course, in that setting, you can actually bring product with you that you sell or even do consulting. One of the ways that that is done is many people who teach 
will teach for a weekend seminar and then stay a day or two later to see private clients during that period. Now, a lot of people have an interest in product development because one of the nice things about selling products is you're duplicating yourself. You're producing income, but you're not physically there when the purchase is made. One of the things that a lot of people will do in natural healing and alternative medicine is they will get involved in multi-level marketing or network marketing companies. And since this is more of a tape about the business of natural healing and not about how particular products get marketed, what I will say is this, is that many network marketing or multi-level marketing companies are legitimate and people can produce a lot of income. However, many people go into debt because they don't have the ability to sell well, they're not very outgoing or aggressive, it begins to dominate their lives, and they begin to sort of eat, breathe, sleep with these products, and they lose the healing aspect. So what I would warn you is that if you're going to get involved in a network marketing or multi-level marketing company where you build distributor networks underneath you, downlines, et cetera, et cetera, that you do so intelligently, not going to debt in the process, and recognize that those products can be part of a larger program of income producing techniques that involve schools, teaching, consulting, etc.